Hey everybody. Okay, so I'm gonna do a little bit of WordPress 101 today on what is the WordPress core. This is gonna be really brief, really basic, and again, remember, it's a 101. All right, so when you download WordPress fresh from the WordPress website, there's an entire collection of files that come with that. So when you go to WordPress, or you install it from your hosting company or however you're getting your WordPress, you get a complete set of files. Now, first thing I'm gonna do is just clear the air really quickly on those files. So you have your core files and you have your content files. Okay, so I've seen probably over a hundred times just in the last few months random comments on various forums and various online communication portals. Things like, don't ever touch the core, don't mess with the core. And then at the same time, the question is asked, well, what is the core? And the answer is, oh, it's all the files you get in the download when you download from WordPress or when you install WordPress freshly. And when I say freshly, I'm referring to the latest release or a specific version of WordPress that includes all of the WordPress files from WordPress or somewhere else that you're getting it from. So, okay, first thing I want to do is just clear this up, okay? So, content. Content is, could be considered to be more design stuff and basic functional stuff that you add to WordPress. So let's say you want to change the font colors or change the font style or maybe add a little custom functionality that does something special. And you could modify this within the content area. And technically, this does not mean you're modifying the core. Think of the core as the brain or the central nervous system of WordPress, okay? So the core is kind of like a giant brain, okay? And even this content relies on this core so that it can do what it can do in a lot of cases. It relies on what's going on up here. And the reason you might see, if you've been working with WordPress for any amount of time, the reason you might see comments online or tutorials saying, don't ever touch the core, is because this exact reason. First of all, the core does all kinds of things that we don't even need to know about, really, because the point of WordPress is somewhat separate from what's going on in here. I'm meaning that mostly it's used for people creating business websites or fan websites or blogs or whatever is being used for some type of you know general purpose so essentially modifying this core and the core essentially is just a bunch of files that are filled with programming code very basic 101 a bunch of files that are have programming code in them so the reason we don't modify this, let's say that we modify it and remove something. And then let's say, let's say in the content area, you wanted to add some functionality. Let's say the functionality was something like, you wanted to be able to add a video to your blog post. Okay, I'm just using a really basic example and really basic, okay? Let's say you wanted to have a special feature where you can add a video to your blog post. Now, if you build, you build this functionality in the content area down here, and this relies on what's going on in the core for some of the resources that you're gonna be using to build this special feature. Again, this is very basic, and I'm not getting into low-level technical details here. It's just to explain generally why we don't mess with the core. So let's say yourself or you hire a programmer to build some custom functionality for this image thing. 
and you've modified this core section. You Let's say three weeks earlier you um, read a tutorial or something and it said modify this in the core, just delete this. So he goes in to make this change and let's say something isn't working and he can't figure out why. Well, maybe something he's following all the specific rules you got to follow, that you're supposed to follow when you're developing something, etc, etc. Doing everything by the book and exactly right, but it's just not working. Let's say that in this core file, this had something to do with posting things on your page. You know, for example, posting a title or a description or something else. This is a very extreme example. But in other words, anything you do down at this high level content area it can be and is likely going to be reliable on what's going on here. That's one, that's more of an advanced, I would, okay, it's basic, but more of a basic intermediate kind of thing. Now, let's say that WordPress comes out with a new version. Let's 